Breaking news right off the top this morning. Four children are dead after a fire ripped through a townhouse in Flint. Just after 11 last night, firefighters were called to the 6800 block of terrain near Joseph. When crews arrived, the house was already engulfed. Neighbors tell us four children live in the house. We saw firefighters recover at least two bodies last night. My co-anchor Angela Brown is live at the scene with the latest developments. Angela. Well, Gabe, a nightmare situation unfolding for parents who weren't home at the time. The fire at this point still smoldering after it started, as you mentioned, close to 11 o'clock. We are learning more information. The battalion chief out here on the scene, Teresa Root, um, has stopped her investigation just momentarily to talk to us about what happened. First of all, uh, tell me, how many people were inside the house, kids, adults? Who was at home? I'm sorry, one second. Copy. I'm sorry. That's no problem. Do it again, please. Uh, once again, how many pe people were inside of the house? How many children? How many adults? There was four children under the age of five, and there was one 28-year uh, adult male. And that person was a babysitter you mentioned. That's correct. Uh, can you tell us what, what happened inside of the home, how this fire may have started, where, what the circumstances are? Well, as far as we can ascertain at this time, because it is under investigation, um, it, the fire appeared to have started in the kitchen, like he was cooking and had fell in, fallen asleep. Uh, the neighbor on the south side of the building of him was, try, was banging on the door trying to wake him up. Uh, they did eventually wake him up, and he jumped out the window, first floor window. So he jumped out. What about the children? What part of the house were they in? And the children were up in the front bedroom upstairs. And none of them were able to make it out. That is correct. Do you know if anyone tried to maybe rush back in to save there was any circumstances like that, but just the knocking on the door primarily? Right now, all I, all my knowledge is just the knocking on the door, but people were yelling for, there was a young girl at the window, and they were crying and screaming, and they were trying to get her to jump. One of the uh, children. But, yes. Now, what about your situation in terms of trying to get this uh, fire under control? Did you have any problems with the hydrants because of the cold, anything like that? I'll tell you, uh, we didn't have any problems with the hydrants this time. Um, our probably our only problem really is resources and personnel. Uh, station four was closed, so it took us longer to get here. It took us seven minutes to get here to the scene. Could that have made a difference in terms of maybe saving some lives out here? That's a, that's a very big difference. Thirty every thirty seconds, fire doubles, and in three to four minutes, you can have a full house, a structure in the house, fully involved inside in flames. So this. Seven minutes. The misfire, I believe, it rekindled. Did it, did it touch off any other homes? It did not. It rekindled in the attic. They have a common cock loft in this apartment complex in all the buildings. And what about the parents involved in this situation? I have not spoken with them. I, I really have not even laid eyes on them. I, I, I was busy with the fire and uh, recovery of the bodies, and we didn't even get a chance to speak with them. Okay. But I just want to let you know that Flint Fire, uh, they're all in our prayers. And uh, I just want to let you know we tried a, a, just a huge effort to save those cherished children. And also, I'd like to thank my dispatch for their competency. Okay. Well, I know you have a lot to do. Thanks for joining us for this brief moment. But obviously, just um, a terrible tragedy unfolding here. Four young children dying in a high fire around 11 o'clock last night. We're bringing you any new information as it becomes available throughout the morning. Reporting live from Flint, Angela Brown, ABC 12 News.